fans anonymous. I know I am. Hey, hey, hey. It's obvious, tune into Phantoms Anonymous They talk about everything from Batman to Pocahontas Leave you in astonishment like beat a Mario Odyssey It's going down, girls and boys, pick up your phone and follow me Malcolm's always delivering, just like Domino's The newest breaking news, like who just got the new movie role So get a snack and relax your toes It's time to get the knowledge from the pros, let's go What's going on everybody, welcome to another episode of Phantoms Anonymous I am here today to talk about something that really aggravates me Anytime I go on the internet, whether it be on a video, whether it be on a YouTube video, a regular video being shared on Facebook, an Instagram post, a Facebook post, an article being shared on Facebook, I see what's called clickbait. I despise clickbait. One thing we do here at Families Anonymous is when we give information, when we make a video, when we post a post, Whatever it is that we share with you guys, we make sure that it is factual before we do so because clickbait is wrong. Let me tell you what clickbait does. If I post a comment or a post or a video that says Hugh Jackman, um, what's his name? They played Picard, they played Xavier. Y'all know who I'm trying to say. Why well, I can't think of his name right now? The, the, not James McAvoy. Uh, Stewart. 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 I immediately thought about uh, Deadpool. Stewart or McAvoy. Stewart, who played Xavier, and Kelsey Grammer, who played Beast. If I made a post that said these three are going to show up in the end credit scene in Avengers Endgame or Avengers 4, and that goes out, people are going to start reading it and they're going to share it. And then the next person is going to share it. And then they're going to share it. Five people are going to share it. Ten people are going to share it. Twenty. And on and on and on and on and on and on. What that does is that creates a false narrative. It creates a lie in the fandom's community. And in this day and age, once one thing goes out, it's all of a sudden as if it becomes fact when it actually isn't. So now I will have created, and of course I'm going to get plenty of shares and views from it, which is what these groups attempt to do. And we're talking about legit groups like comicbook.com, I'm calling all of them out comicbook.com and a lot of other pages that you see. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, they share these posts and then it almost like it becomes fact. And then once it becomes fact and rooted in the geek, nerd, blur community, then people start to argue. How you gonna tell me that McAvoy and and and, and, St and Stewart and Hugh Jackman and Kelsey Grammer's Beast aren't gonna be in Avengers 4? I read an article about it. I saw a video. I saw a post. I saw a set picture and, and it literally becomes a poison because what we have, what we have done at that point, we have poisoned the fandoms community, not fandoms anonymous, but just fandoms as an entirety, as a whole. We have poisoned the community to just believe whatever article or whatever video we see just for uh, clout or just to have some type of showing that, you know, we've received a lot of views. That is very aggravating and it's disheartening to see so many people always sharing these things that are not true just because they want the people to click on it and watch it. It's it's wrong. It's wrong. If if you have an organization or community where you are looked at as sharing information to the masses for people to understand something, it don't no matter we're talking about movies, superhero movies, comic books, politics, food, entertainment, whatever it is that you're sharing out there. If you're sharing clickbait, then you're doing a disservice to the community. If you're going to share something, make sure it's real. Make sure it is, is factual. It, it, it's, it's, it's very disheartening. And, and I always get inboxes and emails and, and YouTube comments and Instagram comments all the time with people asking me about something whether if it's legit or if it's if it's fake and i always have to defute or i always have to make a video and say hey don't believe that that's not real that's not going to happen you know a lot of times i don't make comments until i've actually uh, comments or videos on something until i've actually seen that it is legit because yeah, I can easily make a video on Hugh Jackman being in Avengers 4, but there's no facts to that. That's just a bunch of hearsay. Anybody can edit IMDb. Anybody can edit stuff on Google. 
Google is more of an algorithm and, and, and a, a conduit of information and then it'll, it can create certain things more than it is actual facts. Yes, we saw Hugh Jackman put hashtag cameo on his own page. That right there gives some type of small proof, but that doesn't mean he's like the cameo in Avengers 4. Yes, it is kind of around that time. You guys, you guys are wondering why I didn't make a video on that because it didn't hold any weight to me. And what I don't want to do is push out this narrative of this false thing because as soon as Hugh Jackman is not in Avengers 4, where are they going to come back and look at? They're going to come back and say, Phantoms Anonymous told me Hugh Jackman was going to be in Avengers 4. And they're going to actually look at the facts and realize this was just clickbait. Clickbait is wrong. It is wrong. It is wrong. It is wrong. It is doing a disservice to the fandoms community, this community where people are looking for factual information about what they love, about what they watch, about what they enjoy. And again, it's not just all about superheroes and comic books and this stuff that we talk about here on this channel. It's about anything that you love and enjoy. Anything. Please, if you are participating in clickbait and stuff like that, just stop it. Just don't do it. It's, it's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong. Provide the facts to the people. Give the people the truth. Give the people good quality knowledge. And just, just do what's right. You, you'll, you, you know, I understand people making money off of it. People making money off of clickbait. But at the same time, you're spreading a poison of false identity and false narratives and false theories and false ideas about properties across a wide spectrum of different topics. And it's just wrong. I want to take my time out to talk to you guys about that. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button on this Facebook video and share it as well. If you watch this on YouTube, subscribe to the channel and hit the like button on this video too. Don't forget we're over on Instagram. We're at fandoms underscore anonymous 17. And we thank you for all the support that you guys have given us over these years that we have been in business and been up and running. We got so much more coming for you guys. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in another video.